What's up, everyone? George Lehman here with MuscleMaskist.com. Um, not really prepared for this video so much, but somebody just asked me an interesting question. Um, just kind of sitting around my house, relaxing, um, waiting for a friend to come over. Uh, somebody just asked me, how do I know that the path I'm on is the right one? How would we know what's right for us? I thought that was a really good question. I want to make a video about that. Uh, okay, so essentially, um, all we can do is our best. All we can do is our best to figure out what's right for us um, and what we should be doing. Um, and that's going to be a, a slow but constant realization over time. It's not something we're going to be able to stop working towards. Um, because over time, we're going to learn more about health, more about fitness, more about finances, more about all these different things. We're, you keep learning until the day you die. I know a lot of people think that, uh, a lot of people are like, oh, when you stop learning, you die. Um, no, you keep learning until you die. Because the last thing that you usually learn is how short life was or that you wish you could have done things differently. Um, one of the most important things that I have found that makes me feel like I'm on the right track is I try very hard to no longer lie to myself. I believe that human beings as a whole love to lie to ourselves. We lie to ourselves more than anyone could ever lie to us. Um, you'll meet smokers who say, um, Oh, I don't care if I die when I'm 50 or, you know, I, every, everyone's, everyone's dying already. You know, everyone's, uh, you know, you're going to die from something. That's, that's lying to yourself. Um, I mean, yes, everyone's going to die and everyone's dying from something. But to act like you don't care that you're killing yourself is, um, you're, you're tricking yourself. You're lying to yourself. Um, being in the wrong relationship with someone and when you just know it deep down, but you tell yourself, Oh no, this is, uh, this will work. It'll work. It's going to work. Even though you know, you know, it's not right. You know, that's not how it should be. Um, we are so good at lying to ourselves and, um, denying ourselves the truths that we don't want to face. Uh, earlier today or yesterday, there was, um, there was a story and essentially the, the story was, remember how that story went I don't want to I don't want to ruin it but the I the idea behind the story is that what we need to do is face the darkest parts of ourselves that we don't want to face the things that we don't want to face that we're lying to ourselves about that we're bottling up that we're suppressing because we don't like them and that's that's what the, that's what we need to face to grow um, if you take the time to look at the things that you don't want to look at and to stop lying to yourself. And it'll be hard and it won't be easy and it won't even be fun. But when you become the type of person that would rather know the truth even if it was painful, you will have much more of the answers and you will keep finding those answers. And that's, that's how I feel I know I'm on the right path because I'm, to the best of my ability, putting myself on the right path. And I'm not lying to myself about anything to my knowledge. Um, Whereas in the past, I've, I've done it plenty. Oh, I don't care if, you know, I die young, or I don't care if this is unhealthy, or I don't care if I'm with the... It's, it's not the wrong person. It's not the wrong person. And it's not a bad idea to do that. And I'll be just fine. And um, I don't mind taking this risk. And, uh, you know, nothing bad's going to happen, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All lies. All lies to yourself. Or, or my, my favorite is uh, one of my favorites. You have these, uh, these really fat people now. And uh, they're trying to say that it's not unhealthy and that it's beautiful. Well, it may be beautiful to somebody, but from an evolutionary perspective, our idea of beauty and sexual desire comes from health. Um, young, large-breasted for feeding your babies, um, nice skin, nice hair, pretty faces, um, fat asses that show muscle. These are, these are signs of good health, of good reproductive capabilities. Um, to say that, that being unhealthily fat was beautiful to me is a form of mental illness. And, and to, to try and make that something that other people should be doing is just, is just spreading the lies that you're telling yourself to other people, getting angry when they won't accept it. Um, and then lying to yourself that the way you feel is the right way when all it would take is a little bit of research to figure out that it's not. 
Um, let's think of some other examples of that. There's smoking, there's the fat thing, there's a... Um, oh, I, uh, I've had all these bad problems because of other people. They're not my fault. It's, no, no, my, my, uh, men are just terrible. That's, that's why this woman can't find the right person, because men are pigs. It's men's fault, because I had people cheat on me, and I had people leave me. And then you take a look at them and you go, sometimes, you go, you don't seem like you take care of your body. It doesn't seem like you respect your body very much to look good for the person you're with. And you're saying he left you for someone more attractive than you who does respect their body more. If you don't have respect for yourself, how much respect did you have for him? Oh, I had so much respect for him. I treated him so good. I did this and this and this and that and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay. You get to know them a little bit better and, and you've oftentimes I've found out, yeah, it's not what they thought. Um, it might not be everyone else's fault um, for why nobody seems to want to be with you. Might not be just because men are pigs. Might have something to do with you. Um... Yeah, essentially, people people just love to lie to themselves, and when you can get away from lying to yourself, you will get more honesty, more truth, and that's how I know that I am on the right path, because the path that I'm definitely, the only path that I'm actually on is a path of doing my best, so if I'm doing my best, that's as close as I can get to being on the right path. Hope that answers your question, ma'am. As always, thanks for watching my videos. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and check out MuscleMaskist.com. Peace.